In this video, we're going to talk about job order costing. So when a firm has multiple different products, uh, let's say a firm that manufactures playground equipment, uh, the firm has to use job order costing when determining its costs. Now, let's just compare and contrast this for a moment with a firm that just has a homogeneous project, a product, such as oil. Right, so all oil is basically the same, right? Oil is oil, and so if a firm just is dealing with oil, uh, then they really they use a process costing system. They don't have to worry about a, a specific cost for each job or each time someone orders uh, a batch of oil or a certain amount of oil. They don't have to go and cost it out. It's all uh, basically handled the same way. Uh, but when a firm has, for example, different products such as uh, playground equipment, like like a slide, and then they've got swings and they've got different things, so. The firm can't treat these all as just the exact same product, right? They have different costs. It might be that the slide uses entirely different raw materials, uh, takes different amount of labor and everything to build it uh, than a set of swings, right? But oil can just all be just kind of treated the same. So, so oil, we'd be talking about a process costing system, which we would deal with in another video. Uh, but something like uh, playground equipment or any kind of uh, firm that's dealing with different products, Right, so different products, we got job order costing, and the, the idea is just being what kind of product is it homogeneous or is it different? So different, we're going to use job order costing, and we're going to come out with a little thing called a job cost sheet. Right, so if someone says, "Hey, I want a slide, I want to order a slide," uh, we're going to we're going to generate a job cost sheet. So let me just give you an idea of what this would look like. We'll just say job cost sheet. And in that job cost sheet, we're going to have several things, but things we will definitely have, we're going to have a section for the direct materials or raw materials. I'll just abbreviate that. Direct labor. I'll just abbreviate that. And then manufacturing overhead that is being applied. Okay. Now, again, we're going to talk about applied manufacturing overhead because we won't know what the actual overhead is till the end of the period, typically. So, in our job cost sheet, We've got these three things, and that's going to come out with a cost for the job, right? If someone says, hey, I want this slide, be a nice thing if we could sit down and figure, okay, what would it actually cost for us uh, to make this slide? So let's, let's actually put some numbers to this, and let's say, let's call this uh, job um, A237. So we'll call this, this is a job cost sheet for... A237, job A237, right? There would be a job A238, might be a set of swings, uh, but here is A237, and, and we're going to cost this out. So let's say that we take a look, and the raw materials uh, for this job, uh, they're $1,000, all right? Now, the direct labor, we say, okay, well, it took to, to build this slide, let's say it took uh, 50 hours, 50 hours of labor, at ten dollars an hour so if you just multiply the 50 times 10 you're going to get 500 so then the direct labor is 500 right now the manufacturing overhead now again with this is going to be applied now in this case it depends on the cost driver but let's say our cost driver is labor hours so it's a played or excuse me applied based on labor hours and let's say that our predetermined overhead rate, which we have already calculated, which we talk about in another video how to do that, let's say that's four dollars, right? So let me just separate that out. So remember, our driver is labor hours, our rate is four dollars. So we've got fifty labor hours. So we just take the fifty times our rate of four, and that's going to give us our manufacturing overhead, the amount that we apply to this job, and that's two hundred. Now, and I should have left a little space we'll have the total cost for this job. Total cost is going to be $1,700. All 